Hello and welcome to a brand new vlog. Eight weeks and a half into the diet and this is what the body's looking like. The abs are starting to pop out a little bit more. The obliques are starting to show. The lighting is very like meh, but this is what we're starting to look like. Last night, there was a massive fire there. I'm gonna put the footage that I took from my phone here. I catch it on camera, but I recorded it on my phone. I really hope that no one got hurt, and I hope that they put it out in time before any of the surrounding buildings got damaged. It also seems like my weight is plateauing for this week. My last week's average was 185, and it looks like this week's average is also gonna be 185. So I'm gonna wait till the beginning of week nine and see if my body weight changes at all. And if it doesn't, we'll have to make adjustments. I'll either have to increase my cardio or decrease my food intake. And I really hope that we break through the plateau because so far I'm really enjoying my calories and my cardio. It feels just right. It's not too much and it's not too little, but we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta get in the best shape of our lives by summertime that's a promise that I made myself and I made you guys whatever it takes we'll get it done on my last vlog I mentioned that I actually tweaked my neck posing and it wasn't too bad I came home at night my pain got a little bit worse and then yesterday I actually felt paralyzed I couldn't move the pain was just too much too bad but today we're feeling a little bit better, but we have to be very careful with our training today not to aggravate it and not to make it worse. We have got a couple of Lulu shorts. These are absolutely my favorite training shorts in the world. These are like five inches. Um, licensed to train and we also have the pace breaker shorts from lululemon so if you have lululemon accessible definitely recommend i like my shorts shorter just because we have good quads it's a waste if you have good legs not to show them it's another reason for you not to skip leg day so you can enjoy beautiful shorts like these we're getting like lean we're starting to see some shoulder separation happy with that but i want the results to come faster 184 the goal is to be at 175 in 10 weeks time give or take so that's is gonna be your goal. We got our monster, we have our water, we have an umbrella because it might rain, and we have the tripod there so we can film a full pull workout. And also, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to train around injuries. <laughs> Made it to the gym, about to go in. Neck is feeling a little bit looser than when we first woke up, so that's a good sign. Let's just get inside, get changed, and I will be telling you guys how to train if you are currently struggling with an injury or battling an injury. First thing you wanna do when you're battling an injury and you wanna work out is to make sure that you're warming up a little bit longer and more than you usually do when you're training, when you're injury free. The reason for that is you want your body temperature to go up and you wanna make sure that you have adequate blood flow through the muscles so you can loosen up before you start training. So we're gonna do a 10 minute walk at a slight incline just to get the body temperature up, get the blood flowing, and get the body a little bit looser. Hey man, how's it going? You, you just finished your workout? Okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. The second tip would be to slowly build up to your working set. So if you usually do it like three warm-up sets and then you get to your working set on the fourth, do like five warm-up sets, then move on to your sixth and do your working set from there. So take more sets to warm up. Second tip would be take off your pump cover. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> second tip would actually be do exercises that doesn't bother you. Today, what I'm choosing to do, because my neck hurts, I am choosing to do all my exercises seated or supported, just so I don't have to actually use my neck muscles. That's why we did chest supported rows, and now we're moving to another variation of chest supported rows. Usually, if your pain is worse than anything more than like a three out of 10 range, then you should stop doing that movement and move to something that feels a little better for that muscle. So just try working around your injury and not pushing through. This is where the mindset of like, go harder, go home, um, train harder than last time. This is one situation where it would backfire because if I went in today and I was reckless and I was like, yeah, let me just get like a lats pump or whatever, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hurt myself because for the next two weeks, I'm gonna be making my injury worse and then I won't be able to train. So train smart, especially when you're injured 
and that will get you much further than training just hard. And notice, I'm still pushing myself to failure, I'm still training to failure, but I'm training smart. Here, I thought that my neck was gonna bother me, especially when I was pulling and I was like, felt like I was gonna like have my head up. So what I did instead was just keep my chin tucked. So it's small adjustments that you make in your training when you're hurt and you're injured that makes the biggest difference. So if I felt like I was doing this exercise and I couldn't keep my chin tucked, then I would have just stopped and switched to another exercise that can work your lats or it can work your chest. There are so many exercises and so many variations that you can do to train around your injury. It doesn't have to be like, let's say you wanna train upper chest. It doesn't have to be just like dumbbell press, like incline dumbbell press for upper chest. It could be Smith press, it could be barbell press, it could be machine converging press. Like you can train your upper chest through so many exercises. So if one exercise gives you pain, then just switch over to another exercise. Like it literally makes no difference. And just like that, today's training is done. I did 95% of my workout. The only thing I didn't do is shrugs because I feel like my neck just can't take that. And that is how you train when you're injured. You just try to train around your injury. Try doing the exercises that doesn't hurt it. Make sure that you warm up extra long and more than usual, make sure that your core body temperature is high when you start working out. When you're doing your warm up sets, do extra warm up sets to see how your injury is feeling with the warm-up sets because you don't want to make the mistakes of just jumping into the working set and then realizing that maybe this is not the best exercise given the injury that you're having and that's it we don't train through injury pain we train through muscle soreness work smarter not harder now we go home enjoy some food and enjoy some rest and actually just coming to the gym moving around made my neck much looser and much better now we're gonna have to wait and see for the night time to come and see if it gets worse or better. Fingers crossed for the better. Finally made it home. Actually it took us an entire hour to get home because of rush hour. It's 6 p.m. I'm starving. All I've had today is 500 calories, but that's perfect because it means that we get to eat more and I'm hungrier at night. So there's a benefit to everything. And I'm actually very happy and grateful that I got to train today because I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to because of my next train. But the fact that we got 95% of our workout done, I was able to push without getting neck pain. That is a massive win for me. So I'm very happy, very grateful that I don't have to take time off because I could have just said like, hey, I don't need to, I shouldn't train because 
Um, I'm injured, I should recover, I should take a week off. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna give it my best, and if I can't do it, I can't do it. And that's the mindset that I have. I'm hungry, I have goals, I have dreams, and that uh, dream summer body is not gonna build itself on its own. So, got that done, now we get to eat. For dinner, we have 150 grams of chicken, 300 grams of rice, and some cauliflower. And I don't think I've ever been more excited to eat my entire life. And this is my joy, you know, like finding joy in the small things, like being able to train when you're, in when you're injured and being able to train pain-free, coming home to having a delicious meal. <laughs> well, to you guys, it's not delicious. It's just chicken and rice. But to me, it's like, I'm learning to enjoy the healthy foods. I'm learning to enjoy the process. I'm learning to just enjoy it, you know, like if I work, for 12 weeks for like the summer body that I want, it's gonna be like one day and then after that there's a down. But I changed my perspective and now it's more about enjoying the journey, enjoying the grind, enjoying the day by day, just going about it every single day and enjoying the food that I eat, enjoying the times where I feel hungry, enjoying pushing myself in the gym because I know that it's gonna get me to where I want. And that's just gonna make it feel so much better than when we actually get to our dream goal or dream physique or summer body like or like looking the best we've ever wanted is gonna make it feel so much sweeter so anyways um, a little bit of a pep talk um, if it didn't make much sense it's okay because I'm hungry brain foggy which is gonna change in three two one so we showered and now I'm gonna take my supplement really I'm gonna do a vlog so our next next vlog I'm gonna be showing you guys all my supplement stack just because we already had the title here and we talked about um, training through an injury so we're gonna keep that all the supplements that I take for our next YouTube video so stay tuned we're uploading five days a week so I promise you that you don't have to wait for long actually this is like one of my talents or at least I consider it a talent and it's like having so many pills and then just <sighs> one try I actually dropped one of the vitamin D um, pills, so we're gonna do another one. I dropped it in the garbage, otherwise I would've picked it up and had it. Well, that's a teaser for you guys. Vitamin D is one of the many supplements that we take. I don't have many talents, but that's definitely one of them. That's gonna conclude it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching and sticking throughout the entire vlog. I really appreciate you. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe so you don't miss an upload. We're posting five days a week and I'm gonna be taking you guys through my fat loss journey. That is it for today's video and I'll see you next time.